it's Ty Bug, and welcome back to the last week of Spooktober. I'm so sad it's over already. But it's okay, because today we're doing the ultimate makeup look. So for this year for Halloween, I wanted to be Hades from Hercules because Hades is my ultimate favorite Disney villain. But obviously there's nothing I can really do out in the public in a Halloween costume as Hades. So um, I may be postponing that official look until next year, but I can still do the makeup for it. So I know already in my head that this is gonna take a long time. Cause what my idea is, is to do flames, like blue flames and like a little fancy and stuff. So I know that's gonna take a while, especially with my shaky hands and my skill level. So I'm gonna do one eye, then I'll cut, come back and do the, come back when the other eye is done. So let's start this long journey. Gonna pin back the bangs, admire my skull earrings, and let's get started. Well, already I did a little bit of a spot correction because I had a little bit of a breakout coming in, but whatever, that's fine. So to start off. I'm gonna draw the shape of the flame with this NYX colored felt tip liner. So I want it to go at an angle cause most of the time he's pretty angry cause he deals with a lot of idiots. Like if he had different minions, I feel like he would have taken over the world already. But his minions were not on his side. Let's just say it. they weren't on his side. So we're gonna make him angry. I know when he gets angry, his flames go like red, but you would think it'd be the other way around because blue is hotter than red, whatever. So that's what, <laughs> that was a long winded explanation of why I'm gonna do the flames at an angle. But my, I don't know what shape my eyes are, but parts of my eye kind of go away when my eye is open. So I'm gonna have to be conscious of that while I'm drawing the flame. Cause I'm gonna start with a little flame and then flare out. So I'm also kind of just procrastinating getting started cause I know this is gonna be hard. Okay, okay, let's zoom in now. See, it goes away. And then I'm gonna be filling in the inside with eyeshadow and stuff, so it's not just, that's gonna irritate me. The eyebrows in my way, but I don't know how to block it out like drag queens do. How does this look on the camera? Cause I can't tell. Then I'll do some shading in the center. But I want a flame down here. There. Flames. Does that look like flames? Next, I'm gonna fill in the outline with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye primer so then the eyeshadow will go on nicely. This is just like an outline to tell me where to go. And I'm gonna use this brush. For this look, we're gonna go lightest to darkest. So I'm gonna go in with my unnamed Morphe palette. You know what it is. I don't need to say it. And JK. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Ultimate Color Shadow Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade and just put that everywhere. Put 
the darkest part of the flame is on the outside, right? Because it's lighter on the inside versus the ignition point. I think so. Next, I'm gonna go into the Morphe palette with this blue shade right here and kind of darken up the outside parts. So we got my fan fixed and while that was happening I was keeping I kept going. So what I did is I went back and forth with these two brushes, a little precision crease brush and a bigger fluffy brush. And I did the lightest blue and the uh, other blue and I kind of blended those together. And then on the edges of the flames I used this um, eyeliner brush with the darkest blue and kind of like precisioned it. I think afterwards I'll go in with a q-tip with um, micellar water on it to clean up the edges. But I don't know, the kind of uh, blended out look like right here looks pretty good. So next, I'm probably going to have to go in with this brush and this brush again, but I'm going to go into the darkest blue right here. And I'm going to put that even more on the edges. Okay, I'm loving it. It kind of looks like a flower, but how do I make this look more flame-like? I don't want to do separation of color because I like the blended look, but it's starting to look more like a flower than a flame. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna highlight it now, make it all sparkly. So I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. And let's get this whitish shade and kind of put that on the lid. And get a little bit on my finger and tap that in on the lightest blue. another finger because these work best with the fingers I've noticed is I'm gonna go in with this blue I think it's chills or sub-zero I don't know the back is kind of confusing and I'm just gonna put that on the darkest part but not at the edge I want the edge to kind of be a little bit mattish Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner just to uh, line the top of my lashes. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. This is just so when I put on my eyelashes there isn't a weird gap or anything. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Gonna curl with the shishade. Gonna curl with the shishade. Shiseido. I'm not gonna say it again. This eyelash curler, and then I'll put on my Milk Kush Mascara. Gonna think about how I have to do the other eye. I don't wanna do the other eye. That feels like so much work, but I have to. It's what I signed up to do.
These are the Ardell Studio FX 231s. I'm just gonna get started with this, I guess. Now that I have those on, I'll do the bottom lashes. Mascara after. I'm going to use my little blended, blendy brush. And I'm gonna go into the black. And I'm gonna do that on my bottom lash line. To do the eyebrows now. I wanted to do something a little bit different because I always just I forgot to bring down my eyebrow stuff. Oh my gosh. I really forgot to bring down my eyebrow stuff. What a pain. Should I just I'm just gonna go in with my eyeliner. Then I wanted to do like little. Like that. Little angry brows. I think I really do need my eyebrow stuff so I can paste these up so it blends with that. But I'll just do that once I go get all my other stuff. This look. Just, just wait, wait for the other eye. Bam, and that's both eyes done. Okay, it looks very dramatic on the camera, and it kind of makes my face look small, but I think it looks okay so far. So next. I did, I mentioned I already did my base. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer around the edges, obviously not where I have the flames. This flame is actually a little bit bigger than this flame. Whatever. Fenty Beauty bronzer, same as, actually wait. I'll do the top part bronzer and then I'll do the bottom part later. So just warm up those edges a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Buxom blush. This is just my normal blush. This is the Mykonos one. And I'm gonna try and do a little bit more of a concentrated look. Maybe I should use a different brush. I'm gonna use this littler brush. And I just... I'm gonna start spreading that out right on the nose area. Because this is going to be more of a heat flush look. I'm going to spread that out a little bit more. Just going to follow the natural shape of my under eye bag. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to blend that out a little bit so it's not so concentrated. I'm gonna use my regular blush brush just to pat that in. Nice. Now I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and just kinda bronze a little bit of a shape to my face. Owie. Ow, uh, I pulled on my ear. For the final part, we're gonna do lips. And this is, I found my black lipstick. It is the LA Colors lipstick black. And I'm just gonna put that on my lip. Now I'm 
time to take down the hair. And this is the completed look, my Hades look. I know it would have been perfect if I could have dyed my hair blue, but this pink won't go away. So this is the look. How's it look? I'm really proud of it. I think I did well. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my content for the month of October. I started posting two times a week this month, so let me know how that went. If that was good, I'll continue doing it for as long as you guys want me to and as long as I have content to post. Um, I hope you guys are still healthy and safe, and I hope you guys um, celebrate Halloween safely. I know there are different regulations for different parts of the world, so follow the regulations you guys have. And hope you guys eat some good candy, celebrate safely, and I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for anything you want to comment about, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.